can I hold my head high? Avoiding the cracks in the pavement A night of the blues and my size 10 shoes I'll have to make another arrangement I could be a handsome prince, a little frog deserves a kiss Never mind the wicked witch, your mom won't be there How can I hold my head high? Avoiding the cracks in the pavement Right, you enjoy your trip then, Mr. Roo, all right. Oh, I shall. Uh, you see, I've got it all planned. I start here and I go on and on and on yeah. through Alfreton and on and on through Langley Mall and on and on and on. Yeah, you do, on. don't you? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you take care. God, that man will not stop talking. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy the sun. We will do, don't you worry. Send us a postcard. Okay. We will. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. We get all these teenagers coming in and booking places and going off backpacking and scuba diving. I spend my life saying, oh, you'll have a great experience, marvellous place. Adventure of a lifetime, exotic foods, rare sights. How do I know? I've never seen a rare sight or anything. <laughs> Mrs. Tapley's bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry? Mrs. Tapley, you know, from the corner. You know, in the swimming pool, you said you saw a change and you said you saw a bottom. So? So it's a rare sight. <laughs> it's not a place, though, is it? Somewhere you'd want to visit. <laughs> Mrs. Tapley's bottom isn't a distant tropical isle just east of Java, is it? You don't have to fly in by seaplane to witness the splendour that is Mrs. Tapley's bottom. <laughs> Hasn't got its own currency. You can't visit it, you can't explore it. Well, I suppose you could explore it. <laughs> you have to be on fairly good terms with Mrs. Tapley, though, wouldn't you? And I don't suppose Mr. Tapley would be too pleased with people charting his wife's backside. Kendall, 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 mate, you're waffling like an idiot. What? Oh, I feel like an idiot. See this map here? At school we had a map exactly the same as this. Well, not exactly the same. Someone had written, I want to snog Jennifer Blackwell across Angola. <laughs> Apart from that, same map. I used to stand there for hours, staring at it, just thinking of all the fantastic places I'd see. South America, Venezuela, Turkey. <sighs> you know where I've been? Nowhere. And nowhere isn't on that map. Nowhere is here. In your front room. In the Four Bells Saloon Bar. That's nowhere. That's where I've been. That's where I am. This isn't one of your best days, is it? <laughs> I don't have best days, Lenny. I just have days. Great, big, long, boring things with no surprises. <laughs> Hiya. We're uh, interested in going windsurfing in Lanzarote. Oh, sod off. <laughs> Red or the blue? Red or the blue? Kendall. I'm watching telly. Well, that's not telly, that's nonsense. Bring back the saint. That's what? I said. what? I said, bring back the saint. Who? <laughs> the saint, you know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you will. No, no, shut up, you know, the saint, you know. Do, 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 do. But was he a ballet dancer? <laughs> no, he wasn't a ballet dancer. He was the saint. He was... Roger, you know. Then on the blue. <laughs> Lenny, it doesn't matter what I say, does it? You will wear the blue. You always wear the blue. No, I don't. You do. It's Thursday night. You wear the blue shirt, the black trousers, we'll meet Becky at the Four Bells, we drink lager, go to the toilet, and then listen to you prattling on about that time you had a trial for Stockport. Well, I did have a trial for Stockport. I know, and you go on about it every Thursday no, night. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. don't. You do. It's Thursday. That's what we do Thursday nights. What, are you trying to say I'm predictable? <sighs> I'm saying we're all predictable. All right, I wear the red. <laughs> It's got nothing to do with the shirts, look, has it? Look, Kendall, look, the red is going on. I don't look, care. Kendall, look, the red is about to go on. The blue is about to be hurled across the room. I am about to hurl the blue across the room. The blue is now being hurled across the room. The blue is now hurled across the room. Look, the red shirt is on the back. The blue is on the sofa with you. Eh? Great. Happy? Yeah. Good. Right. There you are. Well, you come on, you come out the pub then. Yeah, I'll be long in a minute. 
Well, come on, I'm not going to wait for you. Fine, I'll see you up there then. <sighs> right, fine, all right. I've had a career, you know, centre forward, but his knees are big enough just about all wonky, you know. Hey, Kendall, it's my shout, what do you want? Kendall. Kendall! Oh, God, he's dead. He'll have the same again. What's Mrs. Tapley's bottom got to do with it? <laughs> it's got everything to do with it. It's all right for you. You've got a, a great job. You're always jumping about after villains and, and chasing joyriders and swearing to tell the truth on the Bible and stuff. Yeah, well, it's just part of the job. Yeah, but it's a great job, isn't it? Your life's full of surprises. So? So, mine isn't. I don't get surprised anymore. Everything's so... so samey. No, oh, it's not. It is. Look, Thursday night, right, here we are again. We sit here, we drink, we go to the toilet, we go home, sit on the sofa, as if we want to watch telly, but we don't really want to watch telly. What we really want to do is kiss, so we kiss. And you undo my shirt, I undo your blouse. It's all so predictable. <laughs> I don't get surprised anymore. Well, I'm sorry you don't get surprised anymore, but what do you expect to find once you've undone me blouse? A family of nesting robins? <laughs> Twenty-ball volume set of encyclopedias? Yeah, alright, shut up, Becky. Don't tell me to shut up. I'll smash your face in. <laughs> Is this some clever way of saying you don't want to see me anymore? No, no, it's not that. Yeah. Here's a tip for you, love. Beg your pardon? My husband, Sid, God bless him, used to go nuts for it. If you want to surprise your man... I don't want to surprise my man, thank you. Thanks very much. We don't actually need any tips. You get yourself a fur coat. We don't actually need any tips. Under the fur coat, you don't wear nothing else. Naked, totally raw, under the coat. Then, you turn up when he's least expecting it, you slip out of the coat and make love. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad Can you just shut up, please? I'm just saying, that's tips go. That is actually Look, not a bad You will not catch me doing that. I'm not just a piece of meat. Yeah, well, I you... know, I know I'll never catch you doing it. Do you know why I know? Because everything is so predictable. Right. Maybe I'll see you when you're feeling a bit more sociable. Yeah, all right. What do you mean, yeah, all right? I mean... Right, that is it. No, no, don't go. If you don't, don't like your life, Kendall, change it. Becky, don't be, don't just, oh, great. Brilliant. Sir. Oh, she's gone now. Well, what did you say? I'm yeah. just saying, you know, how predictable stuff is. Is this the thing to do with seeing the world in shirts? <laughs> yes, it's got to do with seeing the world. No, it's got nothing to do with shirts. It's just I'm a young man, Lenny, you know? I, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Just because you're a young man doesn't mean I say life owes you loads of fun, you know. Sometimes you've got to make your own... Gil Gilby, come here, you've got to make your own fun sometimes, oh. you know. Come here, here, bring me a drink, will you? Come here, tell me. You're going to tell that Stockpoke story No, I'm not going to tell the Stockpoke story. Come on, me. I'm not going to come no, tell the Stockpoke No, come on story. down, Gilby, I won't tell it. Come on, I promise you. Just tell him what a lot of laughs we used to have when we were young. Young, us. Us, yeah, come on. <laughs> we, uh... We used to let people's tyres down. <laughs> no, like when we were older, when we were his age. His age, we, uh, we used to let people's tyres down. <laughs> no, when we stopped letting people's tyres down. Well, we never stopped letting people's tyres down. When we was ten, remember, we made a pact. Let a tyre down a day. You're not still doing that, are you? Well, it was a pact. <laughs> no one told me to stop letting people's tires well, down. Well, nobody thought you had to be told you're 37. It was a pact. Well, it's a pact, yeah, it was. That's the operative word. So that was, was your pact, idea of fun, pact, was it? Pact, 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 letting pact, people's pact, tires down. Well, That's no, we did other fun, stuff. No, it? we did other stuff as well. We did other ways to entertain yourself. Yeah? It was, yes. Yeah, so like what? Well, you know, imaginative ways, creative ways. Here. Yeah. I remember. Gilby, did you ever get your mum's baker fall and make a pair of hot pants and dance about in front of the telly pretending to be in pants people? No. <laughs> no, no, did I. I never did that. I <laughs> thought about it, you know, but I just, Yo, it just wasn't my Yo, kind of thing. Megadrone 7. Eh? Where? Well, if you want something a bit more lively, man, Megadrone 7. Megadrone 7? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a new underground club. It's just open. You've got live bands, gyro lighting, 50 bang output. It's wicked. Hey, do you fancy that? Well, that sounds like something, that. 
What? Underground Club just opened Mega Drone 7. Oh, come on, act your age. What do you mean, act me age? I am acting me age. The trouble is, you want me to act your age. What's that supposed to mean? It means that... Right, a while back, right? You were moaning on about the price of vegetables. And I was agreeing with you. I was going... Yeah. It's shocking. Price of vegetables. It's shocking. You stuff vegetables! You know, I don't give a monkeys about vegetables. I, I want to go to Mega Drone 7. Well, let's go, man. He don't want to go. Hey, hey, thank you, Lenny. I made my own decisions. Maybe I do want to go. You've got taps to clean and glasses to wash before you go anyway, young man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Mrs Glegg. I was never really cut out to wash glasses, you know what I mean? Hey, but you've only just started this job. Yeah. I've just finished. But you've got responsibilities. <laughs> I didn't leave home to have responsibilities. Whoa, I you. Nice one. Whoa. You ready, dude? Yeah? Yeah, that I'm a dude. What? Well, I could call you a dude. Yeah, but you wouldn't, though, would you? You'd call me a dode or a deed or something. I wouldn't. You would. I'd be walking down the street, you'd go, Yo, Kendall dode. <laughs> you get really embarrassed. Oh, so I'm an embarrassment now, am I? Yeah, well, parents are, aren't they? I'm not a parent. You act like one. I don't. You do? You're always telling me off. We're in the supermarket, you give me a clip round the ear, you say, Hey, Kendall, don't play in them trolleys. You're not motorbikes, you know. Well, they're not. <laughs> Just like a dad. Oi! Shut up! What do you mean, <laughs> What? You don't know anything about this bloke, Kendall? What's the matter with you? What do you mean I don't know anything about this bloke? I'm not your daughter. Look, <laughs> we've got important darts. No, Lenny. There is no such thing as important darts. Darts are not important! Getting out, involving yourself, that's but important. That's what we do with this thing, we get involved. Really, we work in the dark, travel agents. We? Well, we send people off around the world every day, but we never go anywhere. Go we never do world. anything. I didn't leave home not to do anything. Oh, all right, calm down, calm down. Have a lager. Come. I don't want a lager. Oh, I'm sick of lager, you know. All we do is drink lager, stuff lager, that's... stuff dark, stuff vegetables. I want to get out, have a bit of fun. You want to come with me and let some tyres down? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to let any tyres down. And I don't want to dance around in front of the telly with baker foil for trousers pretending to be in pants people either. I didn't do that! Look, come on, just sit Let go, sit, no, I don't want to let go. Oi, 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 come on, Dad. I'm not your dad. Lenny, just sit. Let him go, man. Just... <laughs> See you later. Kendall. Kendall! I don't suppose anyone's got a foot pump. Kendall. Thank you. Oh, Lenny. Thank you, Kendall. Oh, we got to go there tomorrow. I don't want to go tomorrow. No, not me and you. Me and Terry. Who? Yeah, all right, Dad. I'm not your dad. Just came back for a beer, it's all right, Nick. It's four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, all right. I sit down, man. Well, what's I sit down supposed to mean? <laughs> so, it, it, it's obvious what it means. You know, you, you know, it means, you know. What does it mean, Terry? <laughs> well, it's like, even keel guy. Yeah, even keel guy. Well, I'm still having a problem here, mate. Right, break it down. <laughs> What's he supposed to break down? It's relax, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it means relax. You know, obviously, I know that. I knew that. I would do. It's a proper word, that. Right. <laughs> now, listen, man, this is your place, yeah? Yeah. You pay money to live here. So if you want to listen to music, then you can listen to music. Hey, hey, I don't mind people listening to music. But look, come here, come here. Look, why don't you, come here. Why don't you just listen to something we can all enjoy, lads, eh? Like what? Like, you know, so, TV's Greatest Theme Tunes, Volume 1. <laughs> we don't want to listen to TV's Greatest Theme Tunes, Volume 1. Oh, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay. 
Well, how about volume two? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to listen to TV theme tunes. There's nothing wrong with TV's theme tunes. You know, I think I happen to think there's really good TV's greatest theme tunes. You can't buy these in the shops, you know. God, there's some crackers here. I know, look, the, the Sweeney, Eye Level, My Wife Next Door, The Saint. Who? The Saint, you know. Oh, no, not him again. Yeah, him again, The Saint. Oh, Lenny, will you stop it? You're embarrassing me. Well, I'm not embarrassing. God, what a terrible thing to say about someone. It's not embarrassing to go... <laughs> Does he want to come round my place? No, he doesn't want to come round your place, so, you know, just... Oi, 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 will you stop place. telling people hey, what hey, I want this is my do. house, and if you don't like what's going on, you just, you know, you know what you can do. Right. Fine. Come on, sir. Well, hey, Kendall, look, you, you know you won't go. Kendall. Kendall. I'm sorry to be a nuisance. I just had to check these arrangements. Right, you are, Mr. Root, yeah. yeah. Well, you can't be too careful if you don't oh. check your arrangements. Yeah, no, well, you have a sorts wonderful of... time, okay. Well, I'm sure I shall. You see, I start here and I go through Alfreton and Langley Mall. I go on and on yeah. and You've on. You've not swallowed a Jordacell battery by any chance, have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take care, man, the road. There you are. Sorry, Mr. Thomas. We're perfectly all right. Where were we now? <clears throat> yeah. Morning. Well, I think. Uh, morning. No, sir. I think you'll like it. It's very good value. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, Kendall, I'm uh, dealing with someone. Else. I had to go home and get my suit on. It's not a problem. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Thomas. Lenny, can I have a word? Kendall, I'm dealing with this gentleman. Lenny, please. Would you mind just for a minute? I'm, I'm a bit quick, sir. Do you, uh, do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, all right, yeah. Look, um, sorry about last night. Storming out and that. No, no, I'm sorry about last night. You're right, I'm just too, uh, you know. You're a young man, you've got to express yourself in a young man sort of way, haven't you? It's just like talking to Terry. It's like, it's exciting, you know what I mean? He wants to get out and fight in revolutions and wrestle crocodiles, find Blackbeard's treasure, stuff. Sounds wonderful. Mm. Mr. Smart! Yeah, sorry, Mr. T I will. I will be right there. Sorry. Come on. No hard feelings? None. I won't be spending all my time with Terry, you know. I just, you know, it's just, it's not really... Kendall. I'm sorry, mate. That's <laughs> all. Hey, I want you to have a good time. Mr. Smart! Yeah, I'll be right there, Mr. Thomas. All no, right. Well, I'll serve it. No, it's all right. No, I no, no, no. Listen. You're a good bloke, Lenny. Thanks for understanding. Well, I thought it was going to be a problem. What, between mates? I don't think so. Have a cup of tea, relax. You mean I sit down? Sound. <laughs> what? Sound. It's a new one I wrote you last night. It means, yeah, but you've got to do the hand movement. You've got to go sound. Mr. Smart! Yeah, a bit, Wait. yeah, ow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Mr. Smart's asked me to fill in. Right. Um, Mr. Thomas. 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 Okay. So you know where you're going? Yes. Have we discussed money? Yep, we've agreed £54 a week. I don't think you'll find anything in there for that sort of price. Well, it's not in there. It's on here. Mr. Smart put it in Tapley's news agent this morning. <laughs> Unexpectedly available. Spacious room with central heating and luxury divan in warm, friendly, two-bedroom terrace house for professional man with references, pleasant manner, and a vast knowledge and interest in the saint and television theme tunes. <laughs> you get my name! Sound! Shut up! I did the arm movement. What's going on here? Well, well, it's quite simple, really, Kendall. I don't like to be laughed at in my own house. I don't like to be called embarrassing. You've got a choice to make. Right. I'll be round later, pick up my stuff. Oh, well, hey, hey, where do you think you're going? You've got a day's work to do. You've got responsibilities here. No, I didn't leave home to have responsibilities, Lenny. So you can stuff this job. Oh, oh, yeah. And you can stuff your out. Oh, oh, well, if that's what you want. Is that what you want? Uh, it's what I want. <laughs> I want the room. 
Yeah, we can have it. Look, you really van. There's a very unpleasant stain on that. It's your stain. You made it. Yeah, well, it is now, innit? And I'll tell you this. He might be the same age as you, but he ain't any fun. I am fun. Oh, yeah, he is fun. If you like making a pair of hot pants out of your mum's baker foil and dancing round in front of the telly, pretending to be pants people. I didn't do that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thursday nights, top oh, of the oh, pops. Oh, oh, oh. Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me to us on the pipes. If the answer is no, all the seats are... Oh, dear. Well, the stain was mentioned, Bob. You know. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Jax is here, Kendall. Yeah, right. Sleep well, Bob. And he will sleep well. I'll just turn this over. Oh. <laughs> I'll just get a new mattress yeah, to do <clears throat> Ken, we'll miss the train. I'll sort it out. Bit of an athlete. Just coming. Oh, we're gonna miss the train. Man. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm a bit late. Uh, come up my house. I had a flat tire. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? Third one this month. <laughs> I'll sort him out. Hey, nothing. I uh, don't suppose you're gonna be staying around here, then, are you? Well, no, no. I mean, I've been waiting to travel for ages. I've just had no one to travel with, you know. I mean, me and Kendall was a right stroke of luck. I mean, we want to see the world. The world wants to see us. Where are you off to? Yeah, I'm a... Uh huh. <laughs> Do you want this? What is it? It's me and you at Gilby's party doing Blood Brothers. Blood what? Brothers. You know, you cut your wrists and, you know, it's like a bond. Oh, and you did that? Yeah. I mean, yo, I mean, sound, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Got a knife. Could cost me wrist. What happened? His watch fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want this? Fine. You're not taking much, are you? Traveller travels light, Lenny. Oh, right. <clears throat> I left most of my stuff in the shed. Fine, yeah. Well, of course, you won't be needing much, will you, when you're fighting revolutions and wrestling crocodiles and finding Blackbeard's treasure? Exactly. In Yarmouth. <laughs> yeah, well, Yarmouth is just a starting point, you know. It's, it's not... What are you telling that for? Have you told Becky? No point is there, you know. She yeah. walked out on me, Lenny, you know. It was her idea. She said, if you don't like your life, Kendall, change it. Yeah, what time's your train? Oh, look, it's in 15 minutes. Come on, Kendall. Yeah, come on, Kendall. You gonna say goodbye to your room? I'm not going to say goodbye to my room. I'm not three. See you then. Goodbye. Yeah, see you. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to you, Bob. I was saying goodbye. Yeah, see you. <laughs> no, Bob, I'm not talking... Bye. I was... Forget it. <laughs> Bye, Lenny. The Saint! Eh? Hey. Oh, no, I, d I don't really think I want to talk about the Saint right Should now. Should we get some bacon for make hot pants, pretend to be oh, pants let's, people? let's talk about the Saint then, shall we? With a cup of tea, eh? Eh? Hey? Whoa! <laughs> Volume two! <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, Lenny. You and me, we're so similar. <laughs> so, the same, right? Oh. Episode four, uh, series three, right? Remember, Lenny? Um. Oh, no. He <laughs> just met this absolutely beautiful countess, right? Bob. Yeah? Do you really think we're similar? Yeah. Oh, no. Anyway, the Countess were played, I think, by Anuska Hempel. She left the business and went into interior design, as far as I remember. But the safe, right, once you've been kidnapped, the safe... Remember, Lenny? Lenny? Remember? Yeah. Eh? Hey? What a dick. Oh, the safe! No, oh, Kendall Baines. 
I thought we said goodbye to Kendall Baines. No, I never said goodbye. No. Oh. Uh, to Kendall, I never said goodbye. Bad feeling between you. No, I didn't want to. Right. Now, the kidnappers, right? They reckon they get a lot of money for the Countess because the chauffeur, who I think was played by Roger Delgado, who you might remember best as the master in Doctor Who. Remember, Lenny? Lenny? Remember? Roger Delgado. Lenny? someone called Bob. <laughs> uh, well, I can explain about that. I'll see you tomorrow at home! <laughs> what a wonderful stroke of luck. <laughs> oh, Mr. Luke. It's non-stop all the way, you know. Eight hours. Marvelous. Look, we start here and we go on and on to Alfreton and Langley Moor and on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. How can I hold my head high, avoiding the cracks in the pavement? A night of the blues and my size ten shoes, I'll have to make another arrangement. I could be a handsome prince, a little frog deserves a kiss Never mind the wicked witch, your mum won't be there How can I hold my head high? Avoiding the cracks in the 